Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 26120.1350 or version 24H2. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. We have some changes and improvements that are gradually rolling out. For example, when installing a M6 package, either locally or via the web, Microsoft is beginning to roll out a change where Microsoft's smart screen is used to verify the source of the M6 package and if it's safe to install. Also related to the share section of Windows 11, for going into this, we're going to see that nearby sharing now allows you to easily share content to an Android device from the Windows share window. The feature requires you to pair your Android device to your Windows PC using the link to Windows app on Android and phone link on your PC. Also on the is the dev channel build. If you go into the all apps section, we're going to notice that we're also getting this new category view inside the start menu all apps section, but it is an older version that is not as updated as the beta channel as you can see. So I think this is pretty interesting that Microsoft is working on this feature also on the dev channel and hopefully in future builds we're going to see a more improved version of this also on the dev and on the beta channel. Related to the test manager, Microsoft is fixing the issue causing graphs in the performance page in the test manager to not show the correct colors when you using dark mode again. So this should now be fixed. Also related to Windows Sandbox, Microsoft fixed the issue causing Windows Sandbox to fail to launch with error 0x8037106. And related to voice access, they fixed an issue where the voice access commands weren't working for non-English supported languages. There are also a few known issues in this build, but no new known issues comparing it to other builds. But if you want to check those out, make sure to check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. So this was the latest dev channel build. I know it's a smaller build, but hopefully Microsoft Microsoft will start to introduce more new features also on the Canary channel because we haven't got a new Canary channel build for quite a while. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.